Sorry about that guys, phone reached its maximum record time, so now we're gonna pull this out. Ouch! Oh man, that's tight. Oh man. Oh, yeah, it's very tight. Because it crushed the case. So let me pause. Okay everybody, we resumed recording and got an assistant to help so wiggle, 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 wiggle. Ah, she's out. Okay, this is my main DVD, DVD drive. Actually, no, this one came stuck with this bitch. So, I'm gonna put her on the side gently. Okay, and then we're gonna pull this bay out. Oh, it's easier. This one came from a salvage Dell computer. This is a very good drive. It's a multi-disc drive. Put him down safely. Okay, so, and my assistant can leave. So now we'll remove. Hopefully, we can remove this one handed. Yeah, we can. The multi disc reader. This probably will fit in my e machines and other e machines computer since it has a dead one. So we'll search the motherboard. We'll get this ID cable out of this box. Um. Yeah, that's connected, so we'll yank this guy out of here, too. And we'll toss those. And then, we'll look for this guy. Keep it. And here's the sun, here's the card. But the disc reader will pull him out. And then we'll pull this guy out. And we have a functional multi-disc reader. Sweet. So, put him up there. Then, we have the front panel stuff, which... We're not gonna need, so it's staying inside. And it had a built-in firewire port. Lovely. So everything else here is just a bunch of bits and cables and and stuff we don't need for this part. So we'll just put all that back in there. And hope you guys enjoyed this little video of my computer parts. And we'll continue on with the hard drives in the next part. Thank you for watching. Hey everybody, I'm recording in. 640 by 480 VGA quality now so that I can get a longer record time in case this video gets longer In case this video gets kind of long So we're gonna start at the back of the colony these two drives This here is a Western Digital black drive. Uh, it's a caviar series RE2 This I found in the junk pile It thought it was working, but no it doesn't work at all. It's dead. It's a dead hard drive but it's good for the parts, so I kept it. This hard drive right here was my backup drive in my two in my 170. One morning, I decided to drag the computer out and get it working. Find out it's not booting because it has a dead hard drive, and this was the dead hard drive. This one was blank anyway. This hard drive here came out of an e-machines computer that I found in the garbage. Like the one that from that power supply, that, that one right there. So this one here still works, kind of. It has a few life bars left on it. it not the greatest because it's dying, but it still works. And we have here a another hard drive, a Western Digital hard drive. This one still works. This one was used as the backup drive in my 170, my 170 computer. Sweet. And here is the main drive for my Dell Optiplex 170. Windows XP still operational on this hard drive. After this after me explaining this after me explaining these drives, I will be pulling a power cord from that mess and we're gonna be firing them up. So that will be in the next part of this video. So this is a Samsung drive. I don't know if it's working or not, but it does spin up Ed's read. So we're gonna put that there. So now we're gonna pull the stuff out. So we're gonna end the video here. I'll edit the other part in. Hey everybody, welcome back, and we're gonna I'm gonna show you what I meant from the first video that this thing powers on constantly because of the little little um um what do you call little the little oh my god okay the little jump. So here we go, and you'll see the fan spin up. Pull it in, and there we go. And she.
power's on. Fan's running. Okay, so I'm going to move the lotion. Move this out. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to grab. First, we're going to grab our. Here we go. Our IDE. Not IDE. SATA. Because we're going to show that this hard drive is dead. Completely dead. So, now then, we're going to put the drive. Close that up. Put the drive away from anything, right? Like that. I'm gonna right like that on there, and then we're gonna plug this into the power part of the drive, and I'm gonna get a listen. Pull power now, and we're gonna put you guys directly on the drive, and you can hear it spin up. So yeah, so this drive is is dead. So put put her back in the pile of in the far back of the boonies of dead hard drive. Now then, we got a lot of junk in the way, so we're gonna pull out the Maxter drive. This one here I took apart. There is platters are still there, but she doesn't spin. She doesn't spin up, so she's dead. So we will not fire her up. We're gonna fire up one of these drives now. So let's do this one. Western Digital. Sweet. Not Western Digital. Seagate. And now we're gonna need, instead of the, the other one, we're gonna need a Molex. So we're gonna grab our Molex connector and. Okay, hold on guys. Oops, I'm having my issues here, so let's pause. Okay guys, we're back. This hard drive works. So now we're gonna put you guys microphone. I'm gonna put you right up against it so you can hear it spin up. Okay, so this one, the heads are reading fine. Okay, so we'll put her, put him on the side, and then we'll pull out the Western Digital hard drive. And you'll listen to her spin up. That one sounds a little raunchy because it has a few bad bearings. Whoops, upside down. Okay, so I'm gonna plug him in now. We have a few bits on this cable that's extra, so please put it on, skis. Here we go. Okay, so you guys heard that? This is the working hard drive. Working working digital hard drive. Sweet. So it goes with the working pile. <sighs> okay, it goes with the working pile. I always keep the working hard drives in the front. So now we're gonna do my little Seagate buddy. My friend from my old computer. So we're gonna grab a power cable. I'm just gonna plug it in like this. Quiet drive. So now we're gonna put your microphone on it so you can hear it fire up. Okay, pull the power, pull the power. Okay, so that's that drive. We'll put him back. His name's his name's Steve. And this drive I never named. 
So we're gonna listen to this one directly like this now. Okay, so here we go. ears on it so you can hear it. I'm going to do this twice. Okay, so that's that, and that's my hard drive collection and working hard drives and dead drives. So have a nice day, and we'll pull part of this. I want to let it watch it turn off. And she turns off. There we go. Let me show you the little jumper now that we don't have the camera light on. Okay, see? Kind of jumped it together like this with the two cables. If you have an older power supply like this, it's, it will always be this green and black wire, which came off this pin connector. You can see where they nip and nipped off. If yours doesn't have this, look for the same particular wires or something. I don't know. Well, this one happens to have black and green wires, so splice those together, you'll get a power supply that powers on always. So, have a nice day. This video will be edited together. Remember, rate, comment, and subscribe at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. This has been my computer parts collection. God bless you all.